Hello there, this is Douglas Rumbaugh, and I would like to very quickly record a video describing the basic use of the find command in Linux. Now the reason why I'm doing this in particular is because the find command is incredibly useful, but it is also very powerful and as a result complicated. And what this means is that figuring out initially how to make it do the simple thing of just find the damn file that I'm looking for is perhaps a little bit more complicated than you might expect. So if we just take a look at the man page for find, this will um, bear this out precisely. So find searches for files in the directory hierarchy. However, it has a lot of functionality. Um, as a matter of fact, one of the big deals with find is that in addition to having a lot of search parameters that you can specify when you're searching for things, um, you can actually use find to run arbitrary commands upon the things that you find. So it's not just for looking for things and telling you that they exist and where they are, you can actually do things such as delete them directly from the find command. We're just going to be looking for them though in this video. And so if we roll on down to the bottom where the examples are, uh, annoyingly there is not just a simple straightforward show me where this thing is example um, as you can see. So I want to sh give you the simple show you where, things, where a thing is example. So the general syntax for find is you say find, and then you're going to specify the directory that you are searching. So in this case, let's look for SSH related files within my Etsy directory. So I'm going to specify Etsy. If you want to search your entire system, of course, you would just use a forward slash for root. Um, and additionally to that, if you don't specify a directory, it will just scan your working directory. Uh, so for example, if I just do find Etsy at this point, and give no further arguments. So past this, I would specify my search parameters. And what it's going to do is it's simply going to display every single file within my Etsy directory recursively. So within all the subdirectories as well, as you can see here. Now, I can par pare down this list by applying various filters to it. So for example, if I'm looking for a file that is named exactly SSH, I can do that by saying tack name, following the directory, and then SSH. And as you can see, it found three things that exactly match that. So we have three things where the file name is precisely SSH, as well as a couple of directories that it couldn't search due to permissions issues because I'm not running as root. So we won't worry about that. There, now there is no simple way to make it just not print errors. However, those are obviously going on out on standard error. So uh, we can we can do that. Do it just do a simple redirect to uh, not see those. Okay. Now this gives me everything that matches exactly. But what if I want something that's just you know a close match or just has the letters SSH in a row in it? Well, this uses this name parameter here supports globbing. So I can do this. It follows the same shell processing rules for, for globbing. Now it's going to search for SSH anywhere um, in the file name specifically. Now you can add additional parameters too. For example, type. If I give it type F, it will only show me files. And if I give it type D, it will only show me directories. Because it supports the standard globbing, I can actually do things then like this, where I can say SSH, and let's say I only want things that have a D or a period at the end of their name. So you can see we now only see things containing SSHD or SSH dot. Um, so you can also do things like that, just like you could for um, for any old uh, any old file name expansion within your shell. And that's really it. So this is the formula for using find to actually look for a file if you can't remember precisely where it is. And now do bear in mind that if you run find on like your entire file system, it's going to take a while. I guess it has to look, look at every single file on your computer and apply the pattern match to it. I'm sure there's some optimizations under the hood, but it's still going to be relatively slow. So it helps if you uh, can can narrow down what you're looking for to within, you know, is it in your home directory or whatever. But 
that is the basic idea for find. It's an incredibly useful if you've lost track of a file, um, but a little bit tricky to know what to type. So there you go. I hope that you found this interesting and helpful, and I'll see you in the next one.